Hey guys, this is Elizabeth from Gabriel Family Adventures and today I'm going to talk about going down to Southern Colorado to a place called Ure. And we're doing a lot of road trips nowadays due to coronavirus. There's, you know, <laughs> really don't want to fly. Um, and I feel like staying in campgrounds or, you know, renting houses, things like that just feels a lot safer, um, you know, less exposure. You can kind of naturally social distance if you're out in the wilderness. Um, so we decided to take a long weekend down to Ure, and it was a place that I had never been to in Colorado. Uh, we live up by the Denver metro area, so it is a bit of a hike to get down there, a bit of a drive, and I completely recommend it. Um, so to get down to Ure, you know, it depending on, you know, where you're coming from, but if you're from the metro area, it's about five and a half, six hours, and there's tons to do. Um, so I'll go over a few things that we did. And, um, you know, if you're looking for an escape, somewhere to go, kind of get out of town a little bit, or if this is later post coronavirus and you just want to, you know, see America, well, you definitely have to come to Colorado because it's gorgeous, but um, I recommend Ure. I will go back for sure. It was awesome. Um, so we drove down and on our way down, we stopped at this humongous canyon that I'd also never heard of before, the Black Canyon um, in Gunnison. And it's uh, kind of like a miniature Grand Canyon. You can drive around. There's several different vantage point kind of vista spots that you can look and um, you can check it out. It's really great. Um, a few little trails, not a lot of hiking, at least in the places that we went to, but we enjoyed it. The kids loved the view. Um, they've never been to the Grand Canyon, so they were super duper impressed. Obviously the Grand Canyon's a lot larger, but it was kind of a nice introduction um, to you know what mother nature has to offer. And then we actually stayed at the KOA campground right outside of the town of Ure. And it's a nice location. So it's before you get to Ure, you're going to pass some natural hot springs. So, you know, check those out if you have the time, because that's always a fun activity. And there's hot springs all around Colorado. Um, so you can go there. The KOA campground, um, I have a tour of it that I can link to. It was a wonderful place. Um, the facilities were very nice. We just rented a tiny cabin and, um, you know, even the kids didn't complain about it. So, you know, that's a successful trip when the kids don't complain. And if you're down in Ure, what's nice is that within about an hour drive, you can get to a lot of really nice places. Um, so for example, we drove the next morning out to Telluride and Telluride is a famous mountain town. What's nice about it is that because it's a little bit out of the way um, in the winter time, you don't get as many tourists when you, if you want to go skiing and in the summertime, it is absolutely stunning and there's lots of hiking. Um, we decided to go up to, to hike the Bear Creek Res Preserve. Um, it was a little farther than we thought and uh, our kiddos and their little legs, we made it about you know two miles, but that was as far as they were gonna go. Um, so we didn't get to the, um, the beautiful viewing point, but it was still a very nice hike, spacious. So if you came across other people, you're not really worried about getting too close because the trail is very wide. Um, so hey Keechan, what are we doing? Hiking. How are you feeling about this hike? Um. Tired. Yeah. What? We We're like three minutes in. She's pooped. No, not three because we went up that just to get to this hiking spot. We had to go up that hill and then down and then up and then mm -hmm. down. I had to go in, out, and up and down. Oh, okay. So, so are you earning your ice cream cone? Yes, I am getting a big one. <laughs> Um, it's a little tricky to get to just because it's kind of off the beaten track. Um, but if you know, if you look at maps in Telluride, you'll, you'll be able to find it. Um, we enjoyed the food. We stopped, we got some snacks, um, and then we came back to our campground. And so it was a full day of fun. You can really do a lot in Telluride. There's a gondola you can take up and it's just a magical view. Um, so definitely a place you want to check out summer and winter. 
Then if you go into the town of Ure itself, there's also tons of hiking trails. And if you go, you know, to websites like All Trails, for example, um, you can see kind of the level of rigor um, of the hiking trails themselves. And, you know, if you're traveling with kids, you know, that might inform your decision as to what kind of trails you want to go to. Um, one I recommend if you have little ones is the Cascade Falls. It's barely a trail. You walk for a matter of minutes and all of a sudden you're at this beautiful waterfall that you will actually see from other parts of Ure um, if you wander around. Uh, so that's a nice place to go and, um, you know, see some views, kind of get out, stretch your legs a little bit. Um, when you leave Ure, and Ure is famous, it's called the Switzerland of America. Um, a lot of the buildings themselves are kind of in that Swiss Alps style. And again, you can hike all over. Um, we decided for that day, we actually left and we went around something called the Million Dollar Highway. And it's um, one of the scariest <laughs> roads I've ever been on. Um, the road is right next to a drop off and there aren't metal rails um and we were nervous just in our car uh, but you'll see you know you'll see rvs and you'll see big trucks coming down the million dollar highway um and it's it's a doozy so if you if you like a little bit of adventure it's a beautiful view but um it's a little scary and we drove to silverton this town of silverton was about an hour away um after you make it up and over the, the million dollar highway. And Silverton is this historic town. Um, they have this train station that runs to Durango. Normally, it was actually, it's um, not running right now due to COVID. Uh, but while we were there, um, you know, we walked around the little town, hiked a little bit, um, got some ice cream, obligatory ice cream for the kiddos. And it's nice to check out, you know, some of those historic Southern Colorado towns like Silverton. Um, and also, you know, they strongly recommend you wear masks, so definitely bring those. Um, if you're going to spend a little more time in Ure, you've got several options of uh, different things to do. So what I recommend doing if you spend some time in Ure is go to the Box Canyon Falls. And there is an entrance fee to go in, but it is most definitely worth it. So you can actually hike to the falls in a matter of minutes. And then um, there is a way to get to the falls from town. So if you wanted to not pay the entrance fee, you could go. There's a roundabout way around town. Um, it's about a mile on a little trail. Or you could just pay the entrance fee, park and walk in um, and you can walk all the way to the falls and then there's a metal staircase you can walk all the way down to the base of the falls and it's just really beautiful um, the kids loved it they loved hearing the sound of the crashing water you can walk through some caves um, and so you can also decide how long of a hike you want to take so you can do something short just get to the falls come back um, they have a few trails that go around like I said you could head back into town um, we split up and all the wives actually went back into town the long way so we could get a little bit of a longer hike in um, but the box canyon falls are great and it's not something that's you know too difficult if you're traveling with children. So we rounded out the day by going to the Ridgeway State Park. And so you do also pay an entrance fee here, or if you have your state parks pass, you can just use that to get in. And you can rent stand up paddle boards, you can bring kayaks, things like that. Um, the only thing I recommend about if you go to the Ridgeway State Park is you might wanna bring some kind of tent or shade um, because there's really no shade. So you're kind of in the direct sun and it does get a little hot up there. Um, so if you have some kind of tent that's also secure because it is a little windy when you're right there on the water and you're kind of in that open exposure, but um, the kids love playing in the water. It wasn't too cold. And so they had a wonderful time. So we picnic lunch out in the Ridgeway State Park and and had some fun there before heading back to our campground um, to relax and you know cook s'mores and enjoy the rest of our time in Ure so it is a little bit of a drive from the Denver metro area but I think it is absolutely worth it I'm excited to go back um, I definitely want to go back to Telluride in the winter time and check it out and and ski there um, so overall 
so many road trip opportunities in Colorado. So if you've ever been to Ure and you have other recommendations, please don't hesitate to put those below and subscribe to this channel for more fun road trip adventures in the future. See ya. Hi, this is Ollie sleeping. That's mommy. Um, hi, that's me. Like the video.